everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology. So you finished your first A-level topic, which is probably biological molecules or cells. And you now know that you have a test coming up. In this video, I'm gonna be going through with you exactly how I'd be revising for that test to make sure that I got the best possible grade. And I'm gonna share that with you. So let's get into it. Number one is timing. Now this probably goes without saying, yeah, I do still need to say it. The jump from GCC to A-levels is huge. And part of that is the number of lessons that you have. So you're covering so much more content in the same space of time. But not only that, the content is harder as well as there's more of it. The exam technique is harder as well because there are far more application questions. And if you haven't experienced this yet, you absolutely will. The mark schemes are so specific. So what might have worked for you at GCSE is very unlikely to work for you at A-level. And when I say that, I'm talking to the people that maybe when they were told they had a class test would start to revise for this class test a day, a night, an hour before the test. For A-levels, that's really unlikely to work, at least for the vast majority of people. So what I would recommend instead is most schools probably give between one and two weeks notice before a test. Now, my school, we give two weeks, so I'm gonna go with the assumption of two weeks. In terms of timing, what I always recommend students to do is, in that first week when they've just been told they've got a test, start doing maybe 20 to 30 minutes of revision a day. Because adding in an extra 20 to 30 minutes hopefully won't feel unachievable or too much to do. And that little and often can really, really help build the habit and also increase your long-term memory. Then when you get to the final week before the test, you need to increase that to about 30 to 60 minutes, the closer that you get to the actual exam. Now when doing that over the space of that two week period, it shouldn't be too much extra per day on your workload, especially if your homework for the two weeks is just to revise and therefore it'll be more manageable and it's the best way to improve your long-term memory and skills. So let's go through the week one strategy. What are some of the best ways to revise in that first week that you know you've got a test coming up in two weeks time? The sorts of things I'd recommend doing in those 20 minute to 30 minute slots is checking that you have understood all of the key information, you know the key marking points, and we're gonna to start to improve your memory of them. Now, the best ways to do that, I'd say, is starting point number one is have your class notes, maybe watch my entire biological molecules or cells video, whatever the test is on, and just check your notes. Does it match up with the key terms that I've got in there? And if not, just add in the key terms, or it might be highlighting the key terms as you go. So that'd be step one, just to check you have understood all of the key information and you've got it there in your notes. Now we know that you've understood it, the next step is remembering it and really knowing what the key marks are that are gonna come up on that mark scheme. And this is where I recommend something like flashcards. Now flashcards can take a bit of time to make because you then have to look through your notes or the spec, or you could use my YouTube videos, pick out what the key terms are, add the definition on one side, key term on the other, and do that for the entire topic. Now that in itself is actually a really good revision tool, and you could do that instead of making notes. But if you feel like you're short of time, I have actually done that for you. And if you wanna get your hands on my A-level flashcards, I've got them for OCR and for AQA, I'll link them below, and it covers all of the key terms, key marking points, exactly matching the mark scheme for you. So that's week one checking you understand it and starting to work on improving your long-term memory by going through flashcards for about 20 minutes every day, testing yourself, or it could be as a group or as a pair if you prefer to work more socially. Week number two, I would slightly change the strategy. I do still think it's quite important to check over these flashcards to keep those key terms in your head, but maybe not every day by this point. It might be 10, 15 minutes every other day. Most of the time this week, you now need to spend making sure that you definitely remember that information, but also it's exam technique. That's the big thing this week, because this is where your GCSE exams compared to A-levels will differ because it's so specific what they want in the mark scheme, but also the application questions are harder. So for this, I would recommend that you would do something like either ease yourself into it and you could try my active recall workbook where I have a series of different activities which all test your knowledge and test that you know the mark scheme answer for all of the information. That's a nice like way into it. But if you feel quite confident already, go straight for the exam questions. Now I actually have lots of packs of free exam questions on my website. So if you want to get a pack of questions specifically for 
biological molecules or cells, then definitely head over to my website, download those, and that's what I'd be doing in week two. Working your way through these exam questions so you start to become familiar with what questions commonly come up, how you need to answer these application questions, and also what comes up in the mark scheme, because that's what you need to be remembering, those key marking points. So there we have it. That is how I would go about revising for my first A-level biology test in terms of the timings, what to do in week one, what to do in week two. And if you don't have two weeks notice, what I've just said for the over the two weeks, just condense that idea into what period of time you do have. But for now, best of luck with your exam. And if you do want even more help, then definitely check out my entire topic playlist where you can find all of the information that you need for every single topic. <laughs>